in a rooftop bar in Istanbul. Anarchists free tongues from cages. Ladies line their eyes with charcoal. Men lean too close, breaking chairs. Here, a man is running from girls with machine guns between their legs. I ask about his family. His brother met a guy underneath the pavement, cost him four planes. Border guards smell sweat. They got his brother. He ran to Jordan. His wife is in San Diego. The table between us is sticky with the spilt, spilled smell of debate. The anarchists love it, but he drinks lemonade as he asks where I'm from. England. London. This is what he wants. In my country, passports are checked at the hospital and children running from bombs and blood and bones are told to sit behind barbed wire watching avocados fall on their parents' grave. When a crowd of women with hair that shines forever walk past our table, I remember my city overflowing with handbags and meetings and Aperol spritz. There he will sit, under a bridge while the streets rave without him. In the dark of the bar, he could be 52 or 15. His skin is an experienced expert in passing days, but his eyes look young as they open and close like a door hanging on by the hinge. I ask where he is living. He says he does not know. And I see him crawling through the oblivious streets. I say, I'm sorry. He asks, for what? And I tell him about the government. As if awareness could make me a better person. <laughs>